Hey everyone, this video is about full stack trends in 2021. 2020 was hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, making it in the top 5 worst years in the history. Even though we got some interesting releases during 2020 such as React 17, TypeScript 4.0 and the much awaited Deno 1.0. Let's try to forget about 2020 and start thinking about 2021, which we are sure will be a lot better than 2020 was. JavaScript continued to be the most popular studied and practiced programming language in 2020. Almost 70% of professional developers use this programming language worldwide. Will its popularity fade away soon? We are 100% sure it won't. Starting from web development to non-browser environments, JavaScript's popularity is determined by its simplicity. For those of you who do not know, there is a special technical community known as TC39 that works progressively to improve JavaScript performance. With more than 70% of our community working with JavaScript, it is practically impossible to dethrone this giant from the top. Nothing new, right? Well, guess what? TypeScript is likely to become your new best friend. Referred to as an improved version of JavaScript, TypeScript has been here for around 8 years now but it's getting much love and attention lately. What makes it so lovable? TypeScript not only takes advantage of all JavaScript strengths but also brings along its own powerful features such as static typing, support for modules and interfaces, etc. It is strongly typed, easy to read and simple to debug supports a wide range of IDs and the best part, it can be converted into JavaScript at any time. 2021 will see a rise in its community, expansion and usage by developers worldwide. Let's talk about few frameworks which are going to have an impact on our lives. Let's begin with ReactJS. All of us know that JavaScript offers a wide range of frameworks for an effective and fast application development. We are sure you must have been confused about which framework will work best for your particular project. As per Stack Overflow's 2020 survey, jQuery tops the list thanks to a lot of components still being used of older jQuery, but it is slowly losing ground to React.js and Angular. React is gaining popularity every year and may dethrone jQuery by the end of 2021. Latest React 17 version update is still a mystery to most of the developers, but we are sure you'll catch up as days go by. With all due respect, AngularJS was once everyone's favorite until ReactJS came and ruined the party. You'll be shocked to know that 76% of developers who are developing with Angular have not expressed interest in doing so. The reason is from AngularJS to Angular 2.0. There was a steep learning curve as it was forcing a JavaScript developer to switch to TypeScript and from the beginning of Angular 2.0, there were many versions planned in a single year which forced the developers to shift to ReactJS considering the instability of Angular's constant development and new versions. Sad, isn't it? It may seem a bit bulky and can be slow to deploy at first but fast and easy for programmers to code as it offers a well thought out functionality with MVC architecture for building robust single page applications. Let's hope they come up with some fantastic elements in 2021. First released in 2014, Vue.js is the third most loved framework according to Stack Overflow's 2020 survey. It's user friendly easy to integrate into other frameworks and highly customizable. It is used for building user interfaces and single page applications. It has a lot of similarities to Angular, making it difficult to win the framework's popularity race. In 2021, it will be easy to find a Vue.js development company that will provide you customized, effective, stable apps developed with this framework. Now this is a new entry that is the Svelte.js. Our list won't be complete without mentioning someone who is rising star. Though today, not many of you will go gaga over new JavaScript framework, but guess what? It is now gaining popularity for being extremely lightweight and fast. We'll sum up why Svelte can be a game changer. 
simple syntax, less boilerplates, less code, smaller bundles, more speed and better performance. Want a proof? A freelance web developer developed a tic-tac-toe game of size 2.4 KB which includes runtime. We are sure you got our point. Now we are getting a lot of questions and they all are similar. Is Node.js dead? Will Deno take over? What happens to Node.js? What's wrong with Node.js? Oh, here is the truth. Nothing is wrong with Node.js. It is not dead. Don't switch to Deno just for the sake of it or just because it is there. Node.js is used by thousands of companies worldwide. It has a highly active community, so it isn't going anywhere. The difference is that there are few features which were not there in Node which Deno has, such as you can write TypeScript codes with Deno. This gives extra type safety and might help in avoiding bugs. In Node.js projects, we use npm to manage our local packages. This tool downloads them and stores them as well as their dependencies in the node underscore modules folder as you all know. Deno simplifies this. You simply work with ES module imports that is the syntax you know from browser side JavaScript and it doesn't need a package maintaining tool or folder like npm or node underscore modules that is. Deno automatically downloads and caches this package and its dependencies when your code runs for the first time. Node.js works with a lot of callback functions and misses modern JavaScript functionalities like promises. Deno being very new, of course, is able to work around that and leverage all those modern features. And lastly, Deno has security built in. Node.js doesn't have a built-in security model, which means that by default, every Node script has full access to your file system, your network and your entire environment which makes it flexible but the files in your system are at risk. On the other hand, Deno scripts can't do everything on your computer by default. Deno is new and it is difficult to say whether it will be the next big thing but that does not mean you cannot try it for your production apps. The goal of Deno is not to replace Node.js but to provide a better alternative. What do you believe will be the latest trend in 2021? Share your views in the comment section. Thank you.